<laughs> Thanks a lot, Will, look you at, fucking look at asshole. Look at Alchemy what Tower. Recording? Is it actually gonna record? Oh my god, it actually worked! What the fuck? Um, the black chick. Okay, turning on the controller. And, uh, let's, let's see. Select at least two, two characters. Well, I mean, oh, there's it's... four of us, we're gonna be playing as all four characters. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, um... So huh. do you want to be the Scotsman or the Latino guy? I will be... I want to be the Latino guy. He's like my favorite. I'll be the big fat Scotman. Scott, but yeah, the that works. I'll, be, I'll be the black chick. Okay, apparently the controller is not going to work. This is... <laughs> you right. announced this game is fine. It's yeah, fine. you're right, it is. It's just you really weird. don't need... Play, actually. Alright, so... Uh, uh, okay, so uh, for those at home, this is The Og. It's, uh, it's a game you can find on Steam. Uh, basically, it's the kind of game that you'd play... Maybe if you're going to a party and you want to, like, a quick thing to keep people entertained for maybe 30 minutes. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure. You know what? I'm not going to explain it. And God damn it, I've Will. I've played this game a couple of times. Like <laughs> God damn it. Because that's going to show up in this... Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't show up in the stream. Oh, your troll did not work. Oh, it doesn't? Oh. Aww. <laughs> There's a screen share. So, uh, sucks to be you, Will. All right. No, Skype stuff yeah, I just wedged Harley Qu my Harley Quinn Funko right at the top of my monitor. And it looks like she's peeking out from above my monitor. All right, so I'm the white the chick goes I, uh, first. The white chick goes first. Yep. Okay. Yep. What am Who's I doing? The, who is the white chick? I am. Will. Okay. You pick which choose. You want to visit. Choose a place you'd like to visit. Will. Tavern. You want to go to the tavern? All right. I'll give you a choice of one of two things you can do at the tavern. You'll have to pick one of the two Drink. things. Drink. <laughs> Spend the entire week getting wasted. Of course you life. do. Hey! Charm and one physique. <laughs> Certainly the oh, what what kind of alcohol is that? Your abs just got a little bit more toned because you've been drinking all day. Th those, that is uh, not how alcohol works. Those uh, those things on the on the right are your stats. The the, thing, the, the numbers in blue. One day, care. yeah, that, that's your stats in the corner right up there. So physique is six, fit, finesse is five, mind is five, charm is seven, magic is five. Congratulations. <laughs> One yeah, day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, hits are flying, and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Do you want to join the fray, or you want to break? Join the fray. <laughs> <laughs> you join into nature. the thick of the fight and let loose some pent up rage. <laughs> so I'm guessing <laughs> that's some unsuspecting patrons. Scotland. This is just a normal day in Scotland. A, bar a fight just... broke out because of soccer. Oh man. Well, like, no, like, Will's character looks like a nun. So and, yo, know, your physique is going off. Anything. Again! You've, you've gotten even more toned abs. Well, to be fair, you like, hey, one way, way, it's a really good way to get into shape. Oh, my God, he's going to be so buff by the end of this if he just drinks all the time. Dude, Clayton, you got to admit, not... like, beating the shit out of people is okay. a great way to get into shape. Okay, so That's the Scotsman is next. Shape. So that was David? Next. Yep. Yeah. Where do you want to go, David? And you uh, cannot go to the tavern. I already knew that. Yeah. Because it's not showing up. I will go to the forest. Okay, we're going to the forest. Do you want to chop wood or do you want to hunt? I will hunt. You monster! Okay. You spend the week hunting defenseless oh critters. God. You're a monster! You're a I monster! I have to do something! I was tired of the drinking. And again, we got more. Fi we, okay, this is we got more ridiculous stuff. So finesse isn't really the same as physique, but I'm still saying that you're getting those toned abs. You've gained well, benefits no, like from you, murdering you become, monsters. You become, like you become a better shot because you shoot at small critters your entire time. Is, you know what that is? That's the first sign of a you know, psychopath. Listening, you know, after listening to Alvin and the Chipmunks all day, those fucking chipmunks have it coming. I don't want to be near his house. <laughs> There's like now I'm imagining like this poor poor town, and there's like a okay. large section of the city that is just hearing Christmas, Christmas time is here. <laughs> One day you stumble upon oh, no, no, a gigantic moss-covered stone. I can't st stand those fucking chipmunks. All right, so one day you stumble upon a gigantic moss-covered stone. It pulses with magical energy. Of course it does. Mm. What, do, what you do, do you do? Touch it. Leave it alone. I'm gonna. Watch it. Leave it alone. I'm gonna poke it. Poke it. You're gonna poke it? You're gonna touch it? Poke it. Alright. 
that your final right. answer? <laughs> you lay your hand on, onto the enormous object. The oh, stone's yes. magical energy shoots into your body. It's a Beauty and the Beast scenario all over again. Oh, God. oh you gained magic! Oh, yes! <laughs> what a day. Oh, what God. Alright, so where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, man? It's Brandon's turn. Okay, oh God. I'm gonna shut Steam off on my end because it's probably sucking my internet dry. Because I'm trying to download a game, so let me shut that off. <laughs> Alright, All right, go ahead, Brandon. What, what, what's your play? Uh, let's go to the palace. Interesting. Oh, be all frou frou like you're better than us. I so are you gonna go? Uh, are you gonna go frou frou at the ball? Or are you gonna <laughs> yeah. be? Uh, are you gonna be I an admin? Are you get, are you sure? Because you your job is a system admin. Don't you want to see what the admins of ye olde days used to do? I mean, <laughs> yes, have but to also fight actual trolls. <laughs> yes, though, but I also want to dance. And then have to kill. You actual want to dance, players. so you want to get your swag on, is what you're telling me. <laughs> I want to, to do the, the jig. Booty. All right, system admin by day, and he's going to the ball by night. <laughs> Get up all on that booty, son. Oh my goodness, Brandon is so well dressed. <laughs> yeah, he's got his S and M gloves on. You gain two charm and one finesse. Awesome. One day the ooh, the king is approaching you. You better act your shit, Brandon. You better act your shit. It's because he's caught, isn't he? Like someone I can confide in. Ooh. I really want a prince to take over the throne, but the queen and I aren't exactly mm -hmm. active in the bedroom. Oh Fuck no! Him. Fuck him. This is a mine! This is a mine! He blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? Tap that ass! <laughs> Teach the Teach king your the ways. King your ways. Now Teach think the Now king think about ways. it. Think about it. You do have a seven charm, but the rest of your stats are not great. You Shut up, Clayton. Him. Teach the king your ways. Okay. <laughs> Just as charming as you are. He thanks your hand. You oh! That's a reward. You gained three wealth. Just generic large sacks. The next day, the queen is the worse. king. Later that night, you get the sticky feeling that you might have actually made things worse. Oh boy. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Oh no. Now it's Clay's turn. Oh, yes. Okay, it's my turn. And let's see, I'm a, I'm a dashing rogue, so. <laughs> I already know what I'm gonna do. You guys are gonna love this. You guys are gonna love this. Well, I'm pop, still pop. Well, I can choose between pickpocketing and oh, fighting no, crime. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pickpocket or fight crime? <laughs> <laughs> I gained one. Oh, wow, one mind, one physique, and one finesse. All right. Yeah, I probably have a little bit of lag on my stream. It's like a few seconds. One night you yeah. hear cheering coming from an alleyway. Peering in, you see a crowd of men cheering on Is dog violently, so ripping each other apart. One Michael of the men Vick, spots you and asks, Oi, would you like to participate in our little betting game? I'm trying to stop. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to stop the fight. Well, you have no wealth, right? <laughs> oh, please end with this getting you getting shanked. Like <laughs> pulls bitch. out a knife. Oh, you ran away like a bitch. I <laughs> ran away bitch. like a bitch. I'm the one murdering chipmunks, singing chipmunks, and drinking their blood. I talked to the fucking king, dude. Well, I got yeah, I funny. got plus one on ev I got plus one on a lot of important stuff though, so I might not. I'm gonna still, keep fighting I'm crime. Still, I'm still fucking murdering chipmunks. All right, so Fuck it's those singing little bastard. All right, so it's Will's turn again. Slums. White girl, you're up. You're gonna go to the oh, you jerk. Pickpocket. <laughs> One man, uh, one night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, miss. Feeling a little lonely tonight? He asks. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Oh no. <laughs> well, you don't have enough money, Will. You don't well, have you the don't money. Have one well. oh. You can still select it and see what happens. Sure. Okay. This is gonna end with you shanked. Oh. oh that's awesome. 
fuck you then. All right, so it's David's turn. I want to go to the arena. Oh no. Also, I kind of want the thing to stop lagging. I want to compete in a fight. Just go, just go full screen, then get out of full screen. Fuck those little fucking chipmunks. Compete in a fight. You spend the week fighting people. brutes in the arena. You've gained two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby, nearby bystander. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court. Do you uh, offer to settle or do you defend yourself? I will defend myself. You object, but you can't seem to uh, convince the judge. He rules in the plaintiff's favor and orders you to perform community service. You gained one physique and one finesse. <laughs> <clears throat> but it takes a... It's taken an effect on your mind. So you've lost one mind. It doesn't matter, I'm a Scotsman. Okay. I don't think. Alright, now we're, now it's Brandon's turn again. Where's he gonna go this time? Uh, the Alchemy Tower. You're gonna go to Alchemy? I think we're <laughs> fucked in the end, because wait till you see what happens. Wait till you see Rue what happens. potions! This is gonna end horrible. <laughs> and now she's traded her S&M gloves for her Bondage Queen gloves. Yup. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists have accidentally created an ooze monster! How do you dispatch the ooze? Do you punch the that. ooze into submission or do you blast it with magic? Neither one sounds like a good idea. Your magic so is pick, higher. Let's pick blast the ooze with magic. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemists all cheer. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that never works for me, dude. Ah! Okay, so it's my turn. Shit. And you already you already went to the slum, so I can't go there. Fuck. How do you theft? Go to the hospital. Okay, where are my stats at? Okay. So if I wanted finesse, how smart am I? That would be well, mine. That would be mind, six. So. Shit, yeah, there isn't really a lot I can really go to. What the card? The force is your best bet. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go to the ho I'm gonna go to the hospital. Uh, let's see. That would oh, man. Clean up. Ten no, ten of the inexperienced patients. <laughs> I'm not gonna accidentally murder somebody, unless it's a magical war bed town. I don't know what's going on in there. Oh! <laughs> one mind, one physique, and health! Just for, uh, for wealth, for cleaning. That's great. One night, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. Well, that's what happens when you play nothing but uh, Evanescence's My Immortal. The doctors have tried to convince him to stop talking, but to no Isn't avail. That will. Try to decipher ah. what he's saying, sing with him. My charm is not great, Shut so I'm on about my singing when I'm Personal oh experience, sing with him. <laughs> personal experience. When I'm going to again. try to decipher what he's saying. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are cold. Oh no, I lost the one mind. Just got. Fuck. Oh no, it's taking a toll on my mind. Okay, so Danny it's Will's turn again. <laughs> All right, mm. white girl, your turn. Where are you going this time, man? Where are you going? Palace. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my white ass. Attend ball. Attend the ball. You bitch. Once again, so well dressed. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm. Oh, she's wearing her Look at my martini. Clothes. Two charm and, and one finesse. And her Sonic the Hedgehog hat. And your charm is insane right now. You can probably charm evil. One day you decide to lean up against the wall just to take a break. Oh, I know where this is going. It rotates as you apply. Oh, you found a secret entrance. You enter a large, dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. Oh, what? Oh, Will, no. quit getting so drunk. We're recording. <laughs> <laughs> do you host a secret party down in the uh, elusive secret wine man. cellar? Or do you keep quiet for what you saw? Secret rave. Secret rave. Secret rave. Secret rave. <laughs> All your friends show up and the drinking begins. Stop, love. 
When you no. come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize in only your underwear. This is so oh, total. College. <laughs> this is totally Will. <laughs> your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? You didn't get any anything. <laughs> you didn't lose anything either, though. So <laughs> my mind yeah. took a hit. So it's it's uh, David's turn. All right, I have been to the forest, I've been to the arena, I will go to the gardens, because no one's been there yet. Landscaping or meditate? Landscaping. I you spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden, and you're trying to make an elephant. <laughs> you've gained one finesse, one physique, and you've earned yourself one wealth. Congratulations. Your finesse is at 10, and your physique is at 9. Holy shit. One day you came across an elderly man snoozing in the grass. You there, young person. He waves you over. <laughs> I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Do you block the sun for the old man, or do you decline? I will Your block the sun. Wide enough. The old... You're going to block the sun? Yes, no one should be as pale as a Scotsman. <laughs> I don't think Scotsmen are pale, but okay. Well, Age maybe you're thinking of the Irish. Yeah, you're thinking of the Ages seem to pass as you stand in the hot sun, the wizened old man sleeping peacefully in your shadow. The sun is sweltering, and after some hours, you begin to feel faint. Gradually, everything grows dark. When you've awakened, it is evening in the garden, and an ancient, gnarled tree stands where the old man was sleeping. For witnessing this miraculous event, you have gained one magic! <laughs> Fucking Scott, motherfucker! Okay, so it's, uh... So Even it's... our shadows can cause you to gain powers. Brandon, it's your turn. Where do you want to go, Back man? Back to the tower. Back to the tower? <laughs> yes. Cleaning the lab or brewing a potion? Brewing a potion. Oh my god. You are <laughs> you are a brave man. <laughs> Discover LSD for me. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You've gained Back two magic and one mind. One day you hear one of the alchemists shout, Eureka! When you look Castle. over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret coming back to life. Draco Malfoy? I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist explains. <laughs> the undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Oh great, he made the T-Virus. Now, do you destroy the abomination or do you praise the alchemist's accomplishment? Burn it with fire! <laughs> you smack the ferret off the counter and stomp it until it stops <laughs> Oh, poor the alchemist is horrified. Oh. You've gained one physique. <laughs> you know it's really hard to crush the crush that. Oh ferret my god, you. that is so fucking funny. Clayton, you notice that it's very hard to squish that ferret skull <laughs> under your heels. It makes you stronger when you do. Oh man, that was funny. So yeah. I'm under I'm underachieving right now. I'm going uh let's well. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go the slums again, and I'm going to pick. Oh no, wait! I'm gonna Why fight. Not? I'm gonna fight crime I'm again. Fight crime. <laughs> so the week I'll start getting beating up criminals. With my Aladdin, my Prince of Persia meets Aladdin meets the. The okay, so one day while wandering the slums, you notice that the stones used to line the road seem to have a certain pattern to them. You don't <laughs> you don't manage to figure out the mystery, but you still feel pretty smart for noticing the patterns of the titles. You've gained one mind. Will's car I mean, uh, Clayton's character might be a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, I gotta... Oh, the tiles are in a pattern! Oh, you God. Oh, God, why did it do that? Why did you do that? I didn't, mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Clayton, you want to understand the tiles, they have a pattern to them. We're going to have to edit that out later. <laughs> Drink your fucking Just black screen it. It is not. Cool. It is beautiful. Wait, let's just get on with the Okay, game. there you go. Oh, 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 come on. It was in there. I was in there. Okay. You know what's gonna happen? Where he's actually gonna click the wrong thing, and we're gonna get into his creepy porn file folder. Why does it? Why is? I'm okay, hoping. so I click once, it brings it up, and now I can't. Okay, there it goes. God damn it! All right, so okay. it's it's uh okay. This so is we're... why you generally don't tavern with options while you're in the middle of a game. Oh shut up! We're recording. Stop <laughs> it. Okay, so um everything's back on. So uh okay, it's Will's turn. Go. So it's White Girl's tavern. turn. Tavern. Tavern. He's going to a tavern. Wasted. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. How do you get a physique from drinking meat all day? The very you first day of the week when you walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Apparently, I during your uh, last drunken outing, <laughs> you were a party animal while you were Remember backed out. Legend spreads of your party hard spirit. <laughs> Just like real life. Uh, you've gained two charm. Oh my Oh my god, Will, look at your charm. He is a charming motherfucker. Oh it's man. Not stupid as fuck. <laughs> so it's David's turn. I wanna fight crime in the slums. You can't. Oh wait. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you okay, can. so Let's fight crime. <laughs> Your See, yeah, why does everyone get a mask except me? This is bullshit. <laughs> oh, that's not a mask. That's my actual face. You see it's... that part of the, the the green part? That's actually bred into my Scottish heritage. No, this is this I is what happened. Love child no, 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 no. This is not that. Okay, a Scotsman have nothing to do with luchador. B, you just spent a week in a greenery. That's the <laughs> side effects of standing out in the fucking sun next to an ancient tree for too long. No, he's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Scotsman. <laughs> <laughs> One day you spend the week out Sparty beating up Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, you spend the week out Sparty beating up criminals. You've gained one mind, one mind, one physique, and one fin uh, finesse. One night, a small child approaches you with his hands cupped and outstretched towards you. He doesn't say anything, Bad but just touch. he doesn't say anything, <laughs> but just looks at you with eyes waiting expectantly. Bad touch. I will Do give you, him a coin. You give him a coin. <laughs> you lose one wealth. He thanks you and walks away. The next night you recognize him on the street. You spot him eating what looks to be a fresh loaf of bread. He sees you and smiles. You feel good about yourself. Yay! <laughs> oh my god! Stat. You're Oh he, my god! He gets one each stat for this. What the hell? That's crazy. The TV shooting. All right, Brandon, it's your turn. What are you going to do? Alchemy Tower. Oh no. <laughs> what are you get? What crime against humanity are you going to do now? <laughs> yeah, you already Rude scared. God damn it! He's already scared everybody. <laughs> Guys, I just laughed so hard it threw my back out. <laughs> Two magic and one mind. An artificer stops by for a visit. She is adorned with magical gadgets, gizmos, and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. Tina? The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. However, as she leaves, she turns to you and says, You, I like you. She offers you a choice of one of her trinkets. Do you want the ring of clever thoughts or the ring of swift movement? Clever thoughts. Ring gra Oh my god, look at that. Still not as high as my charm, though. Y'all can Mr. Jealous! <laughs> Make me super. Well, it's oh, God, it's my LSD turn. You made for me. <clears throat> it's my turn now, so. Well. This is entertaining. Um. You know what? It works all great for David. Let's go see what happens. <laughs> Landscape or meditate? I'm gonna go for meditation. My mind's my strongest be? stat, so I, I'm hoping it has something to do with it. You spend the week in deep meditate. I like the leaves. That is cool. You gained one mind and uh, one magic and two mind. That's cool. One day on your way home from the park, you came across a golden ring in the grass. Oh. I'm wearing that shit. Put it on your dick. <laughs> but place the ring on your finger, orange glowing okay, markings appear. Yes! I found the run ring of power! Yes! <laughs> You found the ring of power. The markings unravel themselves from the <laughs> ring and swirl in front of you. They form what appear to be a fully armored ghost, radiating a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. The ring looks good on you! <laughs> what charm? Is the only one getting truly lucky? Only one part? charm for that? Oh, here oh. it comes. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong? Or have we forgotten? And and for those for the for you guys, you can't hear this, but the music is really sad right now. Oh, sad music. And look at that. There's fog everywhere on the screen now. I love this. Okay, so Will, your turn. White tavern. Go into the tavern. Do you want to drink or do you want to tend to your patrons? Drink. Of course. It's the only thing I'm good at. Spend the entire week <laughs> getting wasted. 
<laughs> you exactly. Gained, well, once again, you get toned abs. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm drinking Tony. Ethan. I'm still drinking the same beer that Bert with the Barry Bonds drinks. <laughs> It's steroid riffic. The music is still sad. One day, a fortune teller sets up one of the uh, 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 sets up at one of the tavern tables. She offers to read anyone's fortune for a small sum. Do you want your fortune read? No, just keep drinking. Okay. okay. The rest of the day, you watch the fortune teller from afar as she showers each of her com uh, customers with promises of wealth and love. You feel like skipping out was a good choice. <laughs> You've gained one mind. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations! The deficit from you drinking is almost filled up. <laughs> now it's my okay, Scotsman. Where do you want to go? Teenage mutant, I will go Scotsman. to the palace. Oh, of course. Oh, be a fancy son. Are you I gonna be? Do administration work. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> Nerd. He spent the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid with two wealth, and you've gained one mind. One day the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asks excitedly. Punch him in the face. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. Yes. You spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. You've improved dramatically. You've gained two finesse. Your finesse is through the roof. <laughs> oh, you gained another two! <laughs> Oh man, you happily paid the jester for his services. You lose one wealth. So, it's Guess now Brandon's where I'm going turn. To go, Clayton. The Guess Alchemy where Tower. I'm going to go. The Alchemy, Alchemy tower. tower. Okay. Do you want to clip more potions? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you spend the week experimenting with different potion like brews. All over the ground, all of monitor. Oh, and man. I haven't registered the warranty for this thing yet, so I can't afford to destroy it yet. You've gained two magic and you've gained one mind. One day, while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potions while he's out. Soon after, he leaves the potions and begins bubbling out of control. Oh no! If you don't do something soon, it'll explode! What do you do?! Drink it! Drink it. <laughs> oh god, yes. this, this could end badly. You quickly drink the potion. Oh no! <laughs> Your please stomach can't up. seem please to handle up. the please potion! Blow please blow up. Fire erupts out of your esophagus! And for a solid minute! And for a solid minute! You're shooting a jet of fire from between your lips! You That's lose two physique! What a learning experience, though! So you gained one mind! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Clayton, the best part is after all that, I became more sane. I'm gonna go uh, work in the hospital again. <laughs> I might as well. I might as well focus on mine. See if it gets me anything. Clayton, I hate to say this, I've got better stats than you. My stats are more or well rounded though. <laughs> Attend to the patients. Wait, if mine's there's... your best stat, I have a better mind than you have. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You've gained two mind and one wealth. And if 70 exploitation films have taught me anything, that means you gave them all blowjobs. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow oh, escape God. from their containers. Leeches start flooding into the hallways. Where? What kind of leeches are they? Where they're flooding into the hallways? I believe they're the leeches from Slither. Oh dear, we accidentally opened up the leech vat. It's like this huge section of like the wall, and now they're everywhere. Jeez. People screaming Actually, everywhere as leeches sliver the toward them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. Oh shit. My magic you sucks. You don't have any magic. This is my event. Use yourself Use your as bait. <laughs> Start taunting the leeches to lead them back into the containers. With great skill, you manage to avoid the leeches' fangs. You lure them all back into their containers. Quick thinking. You've gained one mind. The Yogg. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. This is the last week before the Yogg attacks. Oh boy. So we better spend it doing important things. Guys, I'm gonna say I want the tavern this time. Uh, okay. Please. Uh, then slums. You want the slums? Fighting crime? Petty theft. Big bucket? <laughs> okay! You spend the week beforeing petty theft. You've gained one wealth and two finesse. Oh, shit! Yes! I was hoping for this! Alright, so. Can, can I fuck her? So, Will, um, look carefully. Get close to your monitor. Look at her. What okay. does she look like? 
Vampire. Vampire. Now look Can at your stats. Look at your stats. Okay. You're about to become the most charming vampire of all time. <laughs> yes. I make no, good wives. No, I'm always looking for more oh, coin. A bit of coin. Yes. Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in close. Life choices. Eager to learn, <laughs> you'll be <laughs> earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your oh, ear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood mm, pours yes. from the the from the moon as she clings to you tightly, like lapping it all up. You oh, black God. out. Yes. Watching you fat. This is so totally well. <laughs> when you come to, you see her standing over you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, she, she says. says Tossing you a couple, you a couple coins. coins. You gained you one gained well. Gained one well. Then she melts into the shadows. When you well, when you feel your neck, you notice your wound has completely healed. Your body feels icy cold. You've gained three charm. <laughs> You've lost three physique. <laughs> I'll drink it on. Oh man. Okay, Brand. Okay, so it's David. It's your turn. I'm going to the tavern. What are you gonna do? Bartend. Okay. <laughs> you spend the week surfing drinks at the tavern. You've gained one wealth and tips, and gained two charm. Kind of really not. It really isn't helping you much. <laughs> one day, a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decided to do something about it. Do you convince him to leave, or do you challenge him to a loot I will duel? I challenge him to a loot duel! Of course! You borrow the bar owner's loot and challenge the bar to a musical duel. You play out a beautifully complex combination of arpeggios. The tavern roars with applause. The bar tries his best to replicate your piece, but ends up dropping his loop, snapping it in half. He bows his head shamefully in defeat and walks out of the bar. I hate, I hate what comes next. <laughs> All right, so do you want me to ruin it for you? What happens next? Well, if no. the last week doesn't matter. Yeah, do you want me, David? Do you want to know what what, what would have happened? What? Um, I think you have to go to the forest, and if you walk around enough, you'll find him hanging. Oh. <laughs> and also, I Will. Like and Will, you uh, you uh, you have some weird stuff with vampire. You might want to try for a second round of vampire. <laughs> Okay, so Alchemy Brandon, Tower. Alchemy Tower again. Brewing more potions. Brewing those potions. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You've gained two magic in one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to take a break from the work and instead throw a cantrip party. This is like a magic party. Uh, alchemists wave his hands and produces different confetti in front of him. See, alchemists wouldn't do that. They don't know all how I to heard produce was shit. Trip. I'm in. Another spawns yeah, a alchemy, seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves, and your magic is through the roof. Alchemy, that is stage magicianry. Then all the alchemists turn to you to see what you can come up with. Do you want a complex, complex trick? Okay. Snapping your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit on top of it and write it around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. You've gained two charm. It's my turn. You're the, yeah, you're the last round. Oh boy. What are my stats? Not Where they fit the whole time. Not, Pretty mediocre. I'm gonna go for mind because your magic is higher. So I'll go for mind. Ten to the patience. I don't no one know. Else. My stats have been doing pretty good ever since I decided. Yeah, to Brandon, play. yours is magic, so you go. I'm a mage. You go for whatever requires magic in the end. I'll go for mind. Oh, uh, one day while in the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The baby she births is no ordinary baby, however. Its skin is pitch black and shiny, and its eyes grow like an orange flame. Oh, glow like an orange flame, sorry. It wrestles itself from the doctor's hands and oh tries my gosh, to fly she away. Gave birth to a Kardashian! A Kardashian? Wait, kill it before its ass becomes too big for its genes. Quote, stop that demon, yells the doctor. <laughs> do I use my strength or do I use my magic? You're oh, fucked, magic. dude. You're fucked. Use my strength. I'll try my strength. Oh, you catch the baby and manage to hold on to it as it struggles to break free. Nice catch. You've gained one finesse. Doctor runs up to you with a scalpel and quickly slits the demon's throat. Oh, poor baby. Your mouth goes agape as um, at the doctor's merciless killing of a baby. He shrugs and walks away. It had to be done. There could be no more Kardashians. The storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through a grinder. 
drowns us, crushes us, ruins us, but then it ends. We see the graveyard, our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it, are we past saving? So after the apocalypse, you get to choose what your role is going to be based on your stats. Yeah, based on your stats. Okay. Will so, goes first. Will goes what? first, and his charm is through the freaking roof. So what do you Tangerine. want? What do you want your end, end game role to be? So town I think drunk. that would I think that would be the t wouldn't that be the oh wait maybe it would be the town drunk. Well, no, it doesn't um, matter. It, it's his choice, not your. Oh yeah, choice, it's his so. choice. But I was just thinking, like stat wise, what would be the town best drunk. decision? He right. would technically be the best as a leader, but town drunk is fine. Oh, okay. Town drunk. <laughs> as much alcohol as you can and and drink excessively. One day while drinking, your skin turns milky white. You lose Phyllis three physique. You also notice your teeth are a little sharper than usual, and your complexion clears up instantly. You've gained three charm. <laughs> you notice another drunk beside you, uh, whipping ale from his chin, Wipe wiping it. ale from his chin. Uh, his neck is fully exposed. You can even see a vein or two. Delicious. Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There are several drunks around, and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blur. You wake up to find yourself in the middle of the woods. You don't know quite what happened, but you're pretty sure it didn't help the survival effort. Yes. Great job, Will. Yes. And now the it's... Builder. Yeah, the, um, you want to go builder? Yes. Okay. Good life choices. You take it upon yourself to rebuild the town by hand... You rebuild homes fairly quickly and efficiently. This helps the re rebuilding effort a lot. Great job. All right, so it's... Conjurer! The conjurer? Are you going for the magic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps the re rebuilding effort significantly. And oh, look at you all being productive. So it's my turn, and I got a well, 15 I mean, you mind. You murdered a bunch of drunks. So would mind be the, the yeah, doctor? Yeah, mind is healing magic. Would it like be the doctor, leader? Doctor would be the best. Like, I think leader's charm. Yeah, I think it also is affected by mind, but I'm going to go with doctor. Uh, take it upon yourself to help the sick and injured from the yog. You're able to fix most of your patients in no time at all. This means that there are more people to help with rebuilding the town. This helps the survival effort considerably. Yay! Now let's find out if we have survived or failed. And if we failed, it's Will's fault. <laughs> I, so. I mean, we all four. did great, aside from Will's. Yeah, so. that was surprising for our first time working together. Um, and so we set about our task once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted, but in the end... Ah! Yes! Ow! <laughs> Oh no! That part will fucked us. Yeah. If you became a leader, will you would have had a large legion of followers that would have made the effort go insanely fast. I don't know, Clayton, fast. because he became a vampire, so I don't know. He might have been. Doing no, it really things. is in there. You can be a vampire leader, and it actually can have a good ending, except for the I fact that you kill everybody. I don't want to be a leader. I want to eat people. You could have had a legion of followers willing to slit their throats for you and drink your their blood. You could exactly. Blood. You would have had a guaranteed blood supply. What's better, you would have like seven dead drunks or a hundred. You would have created the world's first medieval well, blood let's, bank. Let's see the epilogue. I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. <laughs> dot 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 dot. We were defeated. Those of us left struggled to put our homes right, let's, our homes to, our home to rights. But the effort was futile, doomed, the city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing. And perhaps the Yogg was only partially to blame. <laughs> Let's see the epilogues. If we got nothing. We didn't get any epilogue at all. No, 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 no we will. That, that's just okay. a, a, a you suck. Under the cover of the night, you sneak back into the town. You this hide in will. the sewers, constantly craving the taste of blood. Finding that rats aren't enough, you take to the surface, preying on victims sleeping on the streets. Sometimes they die immediately, sometimes they get very sick, and sometimes they join you in the sewers, preying on the townspeople alongside you. It was Will fault. <laughs> I knew it. Before long, you've developed an entire <laughs> underground civilization. You sick bastard. He got a good ending. Like, he personally got a good ending out of it. 
With crime rampant in the ruins of your former village, you decide to take action. Over the next few years, you build an underground fortress. Well, apparently with the underground vampires. <laughs> filled with magical gadgets to aid you in your quest. Criminals learn to fear you, uh, fear your name as you end them one by one. So you become a hardcore Batman. <laughs> wait, so wait. Except I instead of his Punisher? parents, his village died. Yeah, his village I died. I Punisher. Yeah, he's the Punisher. Okay, your previous alchemy experiments serve you well after the Yogg. You start an underground potion brewing facility. You get people hopelessly addicted to your variety of substances and exchange yes! them for favors and services. Am I the only one who's not yes! a little asshole? You do well for yourself within the broken walls of this former village. I wonder what's going to happen to me. The fact that this many people are dying from potion overdose oh my God, I'm phases yes! you a little. You are a whole yes! <laughs> Take my potion. In the ruins of the village, you try to set up some form of infirmary to help cull the rampant diseases running amok. You try to find helpers, but it appears anyone able enough has either fled the city or died. I should have gone leader. Either way, you try your best to cure the scores of plagues, killing people all over the ruins. Unfortunately, all your contacts within uh, all your contact with various diseases take its toll. You die without saving anyone. Aww. <laughs> I will <laughs> avenge you, little child! That's and sad. I will destroy everyone! And I will stop the vampires! Fuck you, Edward Collin! Calm down, awesome. Calm down hey, David. Davis. Hey, David. Ending. I got a potion for you. Do you, you guys want to play one more time? I'm straight edge, motherfucker! We have time for one more round. We have time for one more round. <laughs> that was possibly the best ender ending ever. We have an underground civilization of vampires <laughs> addicted to potions. <laughs> <laughs> and they're being defeated by punished Scottish Punisher. So, See next character for the last I'm time, guys. Got that fire stakes and silver stakes! Do you want the same characters as last time? Yes. Okay. I think it's the Yogg will be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. We keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Okay, Will. White girl. Alchemy Tower. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to Potions. do? Potions. You, you spend the week experimenting did. with different potion brews. You gain two magic in one mind. If you had, Look at Will's I face! Look he looks evil! Look look in her eyes. I'm going to try getting everyone addicted to my potion math. That's what's going to happen now. Uh, one day while on the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while, he, while he's out. Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you don't do something soon, it'll explode. You throw it, throw out, the it out the window. Okay. You toss the potion out the window and watch its contents empty into the town's water supply. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Quick thinking! You've, You've gained can... one mind. You take off early for the day hoping nobody finds out. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so what do you want to go? Where do you want to go, David? The chipmunks must die. Send me back to the forest! Okay, you're hunting. No shit. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. You gain two finesse and the pelts and sell the pelts for one wealth. Uh, one day while out of the woods you spot a six legged deer drinking out of a river, glowing a fluorescent pink. This sight fills you with wonder and amazement. So okay, so look what just happened here. You dropped the fucking potion in the water supply, and now David is hunting radioactive deer. <laughs> Already. Yes. Like, Why are you seeing effects between people? <laughs> and you've or you gained increased his mind. As it drinks, you see another pair of legs growing out of its back. Oh god, it's growing out of its back. Wow, I didn't have to do jack shit there. Um, um, <laughs> I make good life choices. Where do you want to go? <laughs> you are the worst person uh, ever. I want to go to the tavern. <laughs> you are the worst person ever. <laughs> drink. Do you, do you drink, want to drink, motherfucker? You spend the entire week getting wasted. Of course you have a chalice. You gain two charm and one physique. One day a fortune teller shows up one of its tables. She offers to read anyone's fortune for a small sum. Fuck I'm off. guessing no. Fuck off. Rest of the day you watch fortune teller from afar as she showers each of, your uh, each of her customers with promises of wealth and love. You feel like skipping out was a good choice. You've gained one mind. I feel like I've seen this before. We did. It's almost like we've done this before. You ever get that feeling of deja vu? Now, do I want to go to the hospital and watch the baby get slit, uh, his throat slit again, or do I want to do something different? I say you should go to the arena. 
You know what? I have a feeling that Will is going to become a vampire again, so I might as well go to the palace and become as uh, smart and charming as humanly possible. I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I was actually planning to. Do, I was actually planning to go charm myself this playthrough. Oh, oh, maybe I'll go be a doctor again. Go to the uh, be a fighter. Actually, I haven't done a lot of the garden in the past. I'm gonna meditate. See what happens. So I'm it's gonna, gonna be. All right, spend the week in deep meditation. You've gained one mind and two magic. One two day magic, you notice a mind. woman watering the garden plants. Uh, suddenly the sprouts, uh, plants sprout giant mouths. Yes. She, she is eaten immediately. <laughs> the plant then unroots itself and begins charging towards the denizens of the. And once again, you poison the water supply. You <laughs> already sabotaged the shit out of us. <laughs> David, you're a. Oh wait, it wasn't David. It was it was Brandon. Will. Oh, it was Will. Will. That's right. It was Will. <laughs> hey, I drank it instead of throwing it out the window. I was a smart person. <laughs> the plant then unroots its um themselves and begin charging towards the denizens of oh the park. Oh my God, sentient piranha peach. You managed to escape alongside everyone else. It's not getting nothing anything. happened. Oh, what do I do? Do I? Oh, they missed. They screwed up on the text. Okay, so do I rally the town to fight, or do I stay away? Rally the town, dude. Rally the town. I have the mind for it. Get people killed. Ah! Hey. Hey. Which means yes. What a blow to your ego. Hey. You oh job. no. <laughs> See, the last time it came, the yak devoured houses whole, stole lives. Tore families and family members apart, but that was so very long ago. We lo I think we just lost the gardens. Yep, we did. We can no longer return to the gardens this entire fight through. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Will, Look you fucking Will asshole. Look at what the tower. <sighs> Alright, yeah, so where do you want to go, Will? Alchemy Will Tower? Alchemy Tower. tower. Alright. Potions. Okay. I swear to God, if you get rid of the tavern next, you're going to be a dead man. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day, all the alchemists decide to have uh, take a break and instead throw a cantrip party. What the hell is a cantrip? Well, it's like magic. It's a cheap trick. If you did, dan if you played Dungeons and Dragons for more than you know 20 minutes, I would have explained more. But eh. uh, one alchemist trick. waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doves from his sleeves, and all the alchemists turn to you to see what you could come up with. Again, alchemists don't do this type of magic. They're not conjurers. Well, so in this game, alchemists learn are, ma are magicians at the same time, so it makes sense. It's not really. But you do gain whatever. magic from the alchemy tower. Oh, whatever. So all the alchemists turn to you to so, see what you can come up with. So, Will, a simple or a complex trick? Complex. <laughs> Life. Once again, he's gone rogue, and he made his share float in the air. So let's see what's next. David, I will go to the arena, and I will compete in a fight. If you get sued again, <laughs> if I get sued, I'm just gonna settle. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. One day, while wandering the halls, one of the arena's fighters approaches you. Excuse me, sir. I need a sparring Can I partner. You? He says. Are you down for a fight or two? Accept Ooh. the challenge. Ooh. Ooh. Let's do this! He screams. He takes a swing at your head. You get punched square in the face. The next thing you know, you're in the arena's infirmary. Ha uh ha. -huh. It appears the punch gave you headache never endus. <laughs> Symptoms include having a mild headache forever. You lose one mind. So oh, well. it's Brandon Stern. What do you want to do? Palace. This playthrough's going great. Do you want to tend the ball? Tend the ball. Everyone's going to get poisoned in the ball now. You watch. You spend yeah, the week attending fancy gatherings. Pants. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you decide to lean up against the wall and take a break. Oh, you found the secret storage supply of all the wine. What do you want to do? Host a secret party. Okay, you set up a party. You invite all your friends. I hope I was invited. No, um, and once again, you find yourself at home, you don't recognize, and only your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only I'm one sorry, home. I'm sorry, Clayton. My only friends are black chicks right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. And I can't go to the fucking garden anymore because of your assholelessness <laughs> and will. You can boost your mind at the hospital. Yeah. So I guess I'll tend to the patient. Wait. 
Oh man, that's a risk. That's a serious risk. Ah, oh, fuck it. Too late, you already chose the hospital. Yeah. To mind one wealth, over the course of the week, you notice more and more people coming to the hospital with strange deformities. God damn it! <laughs> One of the doctors <laughs> determines that these punchers must bitch. be drinking some magically <laughs> contaminated <laughs> some water somewhere in the slums. <sighs> you make a mental, yes. mental note to boil everything before you drink it. You gained one mind. Oh it was, I gave God. you a mind. It was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went. Oh my still. God, Will, you saboteur! <laughs> What are we gonna do when the fucking y'all goes through and all we got is the contaminated fucking water from Will's espionage well, bullshit? Well, it depends if they get, like, you know, like, extra uh, arms or bigger muscles. As I'm beginning to think that Will is actually working for the Yogg. That makes sense. So, Will, your choice. Yeah. Alchemy Tower. God damn it. Brew Potion. Of course. He you say that with the eagerness that I did the last playthrough? You spent the week experimenting with different potions. Because I figured out I could make drugs doing this. <laughs> you gained two magic in one mind. Seriously, one day an officer stops person, by for a visit. Did help people in the last playthrough? Yep. She is adorned with magical gadgets, gizmos, and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The alchemists of the tower all go out of their way to impress the artificer, offering her an array of potions and elixirs. As she's leaving, she adorns them. Uh, she adorns the most charming of the alchemists with a special trinket. The fact that she didn't choose you was a very humbling experience. Oh, you fuck you, charm. William. I should have gone drinking more. <laughs> what yeah, do you want to do? Your punishment for poisoning us. What do you want to do? Do you want to go look for the magical forest of weird shit again? Uh, I'm gonna go to the tavern. All I think right. I know what I'm gonna do. Bartend, drink. Bartend. He does the opposite of everything I would do. So what are One you, day so while in the tavern, a heated argument to... erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying, and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Do you join the fray, break or do you break fight. up the fight? You break it up? Breaking it up. Your mind is only a five. You're dumb as fuck. Well, what, I'll well, join I, the fray, well, you, don't, you don't need to mind to break up a fight. You need physicality, I would, I would assume. Yeah. All right, if you want to go that route, I think it's going to go for your mind, but whatever. Yeah, see? It's gonna go for your That's mind. A charm and check, I, dude. I said join the fight, and everyone else chose the other option. Oh, I thought you said, uh, stop the yeah, fight. Yeah, but then Clayton told me to freaking just fight. And didn't, you was... say, didn't you say afterwards that oh, you wanted I to do it anyway? The fight. Ah, I misheard, sorry. So, yeah, you guys are now trying to burn this whole place down and take me with you. <laughs> really, what was your first clue? You go what to you sleep know? that night thinking a little less of the human race. You lose one charm. <laughs> All right, so again. Brandon Stern. Palace. What do I do? Let's dance the jig, motherfuckers. Game two, charm. Yeah, God damn it! All right. One day the court jester approaches you. Would you like to learn to juggle? He asked excitedly. I'll teach you everything I know for a small sum. You have no money. Fuck off. <laughs> you gained wealth anyway. All right, so it's my turn now. Um, hey, David, are you still there? Nope, he's not. No, he's not. I was going to say, I was going to let him choose what he wants me to go through <laughs> since I screwed up. Just take your turn. All right, so uh, let's. I'll turn to the patients. You gained two mind and one wealth. More mutant people. More One day you people. hear speakies, uh, spooky sounds echoing through the hospital. Soon afterwards, a growing blue ghost floats down the hallway from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize that she is the one, she is freaking everyone out. You decide to do something about it. <laughs> you don't have any I'm going to talk magic. to her. You approach the spirit and try to explain to her the effect she is having on the sick. You're not convincing enough to be able to persuade her to stop her haunting. Eventually everyone gets used to her and learns to live with the creepy ghost. Your mental resolve hardens. You gained one mind. Sorry, Clayton, uh -huh. you don't have you don't have the charm. You're not smooth like I am. <sighs> I have to keep it smooth. And then the world was a howling fury, chaos screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Alas, poor William, it is the white girl's turn. Will. Slums. Oh my god, Will, are you serious? Daddy theft. Oh my god, William. Pickpocket? 
Yep. Okay. <laughs> you gained one wealth and two finesse. Is it the stones? Well, uh, used to line the road, seem to have a certain pattern to them. With a piece of paper and a pencil, you managed to work out that each type of symbol corresponds to a letter of the alphabet. Deciphering the code points to a small trap door hidden in a back alley. You descend into a... F uh, in uh, you descend it to find a dimly lit room with two cubes hovering off the ground, text scribbled across them. The arcane, arcane or the, the gallant? Your choice, William. Arcane. Okay. You touch the cube labeled the arcane. Everything flashes white. You wake up at a home, at home, uh, feeling a little odd. You've gained three magic. Yes. So that's what that check does. I never actually saw the uh, re the resolution to that. And David's not here. We could just go for him again. No, no. Not that's mean. Let's pause. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. God damn it. Sorry, I had to get the dog. No, 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 no it was no. something Clayton, on my side. Clayton realized that he didn't get any footage. Oh, no, I, 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 I think I got footage. I think I do. I don't know. I'll, I'll, it'll be fun editing this shit. <laughs> so, okay, so David, where do you want to go? I will go to the forest. Brave man. Chopping wood or hunting? I think I will try chopping wood. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> grow up. Spend the week no. cutting down we'll trees. Grow up a bit more than we usually Guys, do. Guys, you spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You gain two physique and you earn yourself one wealth. Uh, one day you stumble upon a tall, nicely trimmed hedge in the middle of the woods. You sit down, eat your lunch in front of the hedge, wondering what exactly it's doing out in the woods. Suddenly, an enormous hand erupts from the foliage. Do you dodge it or do you punch it? I will dodge it. Okay. Okay. Your physique was higher, but whatever. Uh, you are a reflex You're allowed to duck just out of its grasp. You run faster than you ever have in your life. You gain two physique. Nice. Okay. Let's go dancing. I'm being. I want to be a dancing queen. Ever. <laughs> just a dancing fool. No, that's not the song. And you are a terrible I, I, person. We've been over this. I don't know Ava. You're a terrible person. Uh, you spend the week attending fancy gatherings. You gain two charm and one finesse. Uh, one day you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace! They scream. Mass panic, hysteria, the whole nine yards as people try to desperately escape the palace walls. Do you locate and disarm the bomb or do you run away? Run the fuck away! You get out just before the bomb goes off. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> you this two are is evil. awesome. Well, you just took out the the So the um, garden. there goes my theory of you know becoming a great king and leading the people with my mind. Uh, I don't have a castle to lead them from now. You still become the leader. Build a sand castle. We're fucked. <laughs> you still leave the palace is gone. Just like that. I'm just gonna go to the, the hospital again. I choose to blame Will for this. I'm tending to the patients. You spend yeah. a week dying. I tend to just blame sick. both of you for this. Two mind, one health. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. Complaining of the voices, um, uh, making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried to convince him to stop playing, but to no avail. You have 15 minds. You might be able to decipher what he's trying to say. Uh, yeah, I'll try deciphering what he's saying. There's pillow to be fluffed. What's this pillow to be fluffed? With your dick. You gain two charm. <laughs> okay. So it's Will's turn. Will? Remember, Petty a theft. large portion of our world is now ruined. Petty theft. Oh, boy. Pickpocket? Yep. Okay. Oh, one wealth, two up. finesse. Over the crazy way, you notice more and more people seem to be growing extra limbs. God <laughs> damn it, Will. It's a little disconcerting to see. One day you figure out why. You notice that while a man is drinking from the river, the leg is growing out of his back. It's getting bigger. Yuck. Make a mental note to never drink the river water. <laughs> Considering Will leg. is the one that did that, that should be an obvious. Yeah. Where do you want to go, David? I will go... To the oh he already went to the slums okay um I will go to the hospital you can't 
Oh, yeah, can, can you? Yes, yeah. you can. The hospital's still. Oh, available. I won't be able to go to the hospital and keep being actually. Or then keep being I a smart will guy. Go I need the tavern. To the tavern. Then I will go to the alchemy tower. Okay. And I will clean the lab. Sounds good. You spent the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You paid with uh, for one hell, uh, one wealth for your labor, and you gained one physique and one mind. One day you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see of the alchemists there have accidentally created a news monster. Um, how do you dispatch it? I'm guessing you want to punch the hell out of it. Yeah, it's probably gonna hurt you. <laughs> oh, until nothing but a puddle remains, you gain two wow. physique. He is one hell of a Scotsman. Oh, there it goes. The acid from the uh, ooze uh, sears your skin. You lose one physique. Alchemists apply a cream that heals the burn, but your hand just doesn't feel the same. Oh. Ta uh, I still got an extra physique. Okay, do you I want... I have to get dr I have to, uh... I'm gonna get drunk, actually. You're getting drunk. Get you spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. The very first day of the week, when you walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Apparently, during your last drunken outing, you were a party animal while you were blacked out. Legend spreads of your party hard spirit. You gain two charm. Alright, it's my turn. Go to the hospital, attend to the patients. You spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and one health, uh, wealth. Could be wealthy. Oh, okay. Uh, one day, a patient comes to the hospital with sores that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, he's got the Uzumaki curse! <laughs> For a for the he's, got a, he's got a nine gates iron seal all over his arm. He's got so and many monsters failed. in his body right now. And Clayton <laughs> fails miserably. While walking by his bedside, he looks at you, to you and... How many Okages were her. sacrificed in order to put the demon thing in this woman? <laughs> it's a it's a guy. <sighs> okay. Walking by his bedside, You're right, he looks it is a dude. to you and rudely asks for a glass of water. Do I get get him? him water or ignore him, Clayton. Fuck. He did. It, he was really rude about it. So keep that in mind. I'm nice. <laughs> Takes a large sip, swigs it around, and then proceeds to spit it at you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you got hit <him>. mutations. <laughs> That night, when you get home, you feel dizzy and start having vivid hallucinations about ancient wizards. You yes. gain three magic. <laughs> no. Oh, my mind! Fuck! 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 That's the Uzumaki William, I William sabotages from the very start. And we Betty theft! Oh, my God. <laughs> Betty theft! Oh, my God, William. The music is getting louder. <laughs> yeah, because Pretty much everyone is now mutated. Mother, Everyone's because dead. Because motherfucker Will decided to turn the entire goddamn town to friggin' zombies. Oh no, really. no, they're just muties. So upon spending time in the slums, you notice that pretty much everyone is now mutated. <laughs> Contaminated water is causing everyone to grow scales in addition to extra limbs. Gross. On the other hand, it makes you feel quite attractive in comparison. You've gained two charm. Good life choices. <sighs> You're an asshole. Oh my god. So Brandon, you're- the I mean, not Brandon, David, your turn. The very first move of this session will just will change- Now, your physique game. is amazing right now. Remember, your physique is amazing. I'm going back to the arena. You are a hulk of a man. Compete in a compete fight? Compete in a fight. Okay. You spend the week fighting brutes and the arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court. Offer to settle. You settle out of court and you lose three wealth. Youch. Let's go. Let's go to the tavern. Okay. Drink. Spend the entire week getting wasted. Uh, one day, the tavern throws its annual dart tournament. Spectate. You gained one finesse. Okay, it's my turn. And you only have three choices. Yeah. Well, my mind is still okay. It was amazing before, and then I and then well, Will fucked me. If you tend to the sick, you'll get two more minds. Yeah. 
Ten to patience. <sighs> over the course of the week, you notice yourself growing more and more spiral-shaped sores all over your body. One day, the sores begin glowing a vibrant blue. You feel your magical power growing even stronger while your mind slips further and further. You gain three magic. You lose three mind. In no time, the sores are glowing so bright that they hurt to look at. Someone rushes up to you asking if you're alright. With only a glance, <laughs> you set him aflame. Then you let out a scream that shakes the earth and shatters the skulls of all nearby. A river of blood coats the ground as you walk about, reveling in your destruction. You black out. You're in... <laughs> Will, choices. Clayton, Clayton <laughs> will just sabotage the fuck out of you. So, so without even knowing. So it. once again, it's like I'm becoming Red Hulk or something. I got the magical juju powers awakening in my soul, and now they are just making me stronger all the time. God. That's amazing. Your sores have faded, and you feel like the Z systems have passed. Rise of the night, but the morning it still rages for full three for three full Will days. Will has turned this place into hell. By Put the us way. through the grinder, drowns us, How crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? And I can't help anything now. My stats are too fucked. So Will, what do you choose to do with your stats? <laughs> Leader. Are you? Are you I'm, serious? No. Become the looter at the very least. Come. Really? Leader! Really? No, he's doing that to fuck me over, dude. <laughs> you know what? I'm... Uh, okay, so w what was Brandon? I was going to be the leader, because I have 19 charm. Yeah, I'm not going to let... No, Will, I want to see what happens with the leader. I want to see if charm really does affect it. I'm, I'm going to say no to that. <laughs> what do you want to be? Seriously. Town drunk again? <laughs> Will, but you I, haven't I been drinking at all. I mean, your magic set is good. Okay, I will go looter. Looter's the looter? Good. That's my profile. Okay, you bring it to an abandoned buildings and hoard together everything for yourself. You gain three wealth. Yes. You gained another three wealth. That hurts the, the, hurts the survival effort. You're a bastard. Yes. Will ruins everything. Builder. You're going builder? Yeah. Okay. Take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand. You rebuild homes at a breakneck pace, impressing the rest of the survivors. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Like always, the Scotsman saves everything. I'll be the leader. Uh, you take it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. You're so incredibly charming, everyone readily lets you guide them. You're not the brightest, however, and aren't terribly effective with organizing everyone. Still, having a charismatic uh. leader helps the re rebuilding effort a lot. And then, what should I do? Well, you could either be the conjurer or the doctor. You have the nice, good enough stats. Hey, you could be a good conjurer, or, yeah. I'll, I'll go conjurer, I guess. To give yourself to help conjure up supplies for the town, with your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. Oh, okay. With little effort, you're summoning higher quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps the rebuilding effort significantly. And I swear to God, if Will fucks we us lost. Over again, I'm we just died. gonna murder him. We died. There's no we way. Even though I conjured shit, there's no way we recovered from that. Will is an asshole. The end. We lost. But in the end. Oh. We won. We won. What? <laughs> Fuck you, Will. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I spent six weeks poisoning you people. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your poison was great! It really helped us! Clayton, I got something to say. Can I say it? Go ahead! We Scotsmen drink poison for breakfast, arsenic and our Cheerios. We drink absinthe laced with friggin' rattlesnake venom. We eat black widows as, as though they were popcorn! <laughs> it was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. <laughs> Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish, and whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if I we will ever we got, be, can I ever be, ready for it? We, we got the mediocre victory. There, there is a better victory you can get. Yeah, there's, there's a, a solid victory. one. I've gotten it before with just being a conjurer. Apparently, I made potions so amazing that it brought everyone back to life. <laughs> Alright, what are our endings? Yeah, let's see what we'll our endings are. Will gets aged and dies. 
You escaped the town with a giant You escaped the, the to... town! Look at that typo right there! These guys are terrible. <laughs> with the giant bags of coins, jewels, and other valuable trinkets. You are a fucking asshole, Will. Yes! You moved to a new city, living a life of luxury and elegance. Fortunately, the new city you moved to has their own horrible evil, the Bieg. <laughs> the Bieg sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time, when you go rummaging through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. You get into a knife fight with one of them, yeah. which results in you bleeding out a pile of rubble. Fuck you, Will! Fuck you! Everyone point at Will and laugh, children. Oh. oh, what the hell happened? While the town is being rebuilt, you become the leader of a hunting party. <laughs> you became the town's main supplier of game meats and furs. You become extremely adept at killing defenseless animals. One day, you spot a glowing blue fox in the woods. Upon seeing it, uh, upon seeing you, it cackles and runs off. You serve for what feels like an hour, but to no avail. Capturing the laughing blue fox becomes an obsession for you. You spend every wi uh, moment thinking of its laugh, even while you sleep. Its cackle feels as if it's burning into your brain. <laughs> I bet I know who's responsible. The Yogg has traumatized well. Brandon deeply. Despite everything... <laughs> That's Brenda, for the record. Despite everything <laughs> starting to be okay now, something in you snapped. Maybe it was witnessing a baby floating face down in the or on the water. Oh, you killed a child, Will. Perhaps it was when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school and had resorted to eating their rotten teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink How's so much, difference? you're not entirely sure what is real and what is an illusion. One day, you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. Will ruined everything. Oh, here it comes. The Yogg changed you, probably for the better. With the town being rebuilt, you eventually decide to retake your role as a doctor in the hospital. Uh, there, you make friends with another doctor. The two of you do everything together. You are inseparable. Eventually, you even decide and to get an fuck. apartment and live with each other. Then your old, then your friend gets married and everything changes. Their spouse has to move away to a new town and your friend follows. You try to keep in touch by mail, but the letters start to come less and less frequently. You start to fraternize with other doctors. While they're all nice people, nothing can compare. So, so I get obsessive-compulsive... Um, Brandon ends up digging out his own eyes with a spoon, and you just lose a friend. Well, no, I, I, I fall into a drunken stupor for the rest of my life. It's different. Oh, well, at least Will's dead. I become Alistair <laughs> in Dragon Age, the town drunk. Hey, while I lived, I lived hard. Hashtag YOLO swag. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have fun editing this later. <laughs> Or maybe I'll send it to Will for editing. Maybe I'll send it to Will for editing. I think we're done for today. Okay, I'm stopping the recording.